Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is December 25th, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, a bill on the mobilization of conscript will be registered in the UKR Parliament in the coming days. Now we talked about this guys. This is the 500,000 soldiers. And uh Mr. Z, the leader of the Yellow and Blue country, he's coming out and talking about uh big things to come in the year 2024. All right, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. On December 19, Mr. Z said, The yellow and blue uh, military leadership proposed 450 to 500,000. All right, that's the number. All right, so basically 500,000. Uh, this, this is video that's trending right now on Twitter. And it shows a lot of, uh, of the yellow and blue country um, soldiers. And everybody's just having a good time, you know, just eating. And it seems like it's this big, massive cafeteria. That's what they are right now. And camouflage, eating and talking. But uh, I noticed something in that video. I noticed something that is uh is very very important uh to uh to share this M most of those men are basically fifty years old fifty years of age. I'm like, man, everybody there looks like uh, again seniors so I'm gonna share that video. I'm going to show on my Twitter page. Follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the comments box. But that video is coming out today. And uh, almost 90%, 95% of those boots are in their 50s. We're going to see what's going on here, guys. And uh, I just want to let everybody know, yes, today's is, uh, December 25th. We celebrate... Uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and you know we give thanks to the Lord for sending his one and only begotten son and uh, Jesus came and you know he brought the good news the gospel which is the most amazing thing the beautiful thing that uh, Christ has done and saying the, the cross is the door to heaven and I bring that cross to you I bring you the good news those who wants to follow me pick up the cross and put on the whole armor and follow me so remember that date. I know a lot of people's like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. I, 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 that's that's nice and dandy. It's beautiful and this and that. But again, Christ is much more amazing. <laughs> so uh, what he did in that cross. So, so again, I just want to wish everybody a amazing December twenty fifth. Remember, give time to the Lord. And uh, you know what Jesus did in that cross. He did it because he he loves. His, again, his his people. Uh, not too many people are God's people. But he did it to those that he knows that uh, they will repent soon. So it's very important to share the gospel. It's very important to pray for each other. And it's very important to repent in these tough times that we are living. All right, let's see what's going on here. Guys, my audio might be a little bad. My microphone is broken. And the wire is not good. It's like everything is falling apart. And some of my books are completely wet. <laughs> so um, a lot of stuff got damaged from the U-Haul. Uh, the computer is good. Everything is good. It, it, I mean, the microphone, it seems like it's, it's the wire that got really messed up. So if you guys 
hear like echo sound, leave comments down below. Let me know if the audio is good. All right, so a bill, very important bill in the coming days is going to be introduced to the very important ones in the, in the spotlight. All right, so you have this person here said that the bill would change the approaches to mobilization in UKR to make sure that society does not see conscription as punishment. We are preparing a mobilization blueprint that should be understandable to the public. We are discussing it with the military. Very important ones. The new plan covers the issue of joining. Uh, again, training conscript, uh, rotation, and finishing military service. Mr. Z, the leader of the Yellow and Blue, said in November that he had instructed Commander-in-Chief, I'm going to skip the name, to uh, present a new plan. We need new plans. Now, they, uh, they are responding. When I say they, I'm talking about those experts and military. They are sending a message back to Mr. Z. They are saying to Mr. Z, we don't want any women. We just want, uh, want men. Uh, to put on the camouflage. So uh, they telling Mr. Z, man, you better not be sending no, you know what? And uh, again, it's just not right. So this is a serious number. I said, I need more um, arguments to support this uh, direction. Mr. Z said during a press conference, this person told, what is that? So it's, so it's fine. That if society wants the uh, the yellow and blue to return to its 1991 borders, it is necessary to understand how occupied territories will be liberated. He added that the mechanism of mobilization and this mobilization require adjustment in this context. If we seek society support, we must explain how and whom we want to invite to serve and what will happen to that person when discharged to address this. We are preparing a draft law. We are preparing a draft law. There you go. Preparing a draft. So he also said that the term de, uh, this, excuse me guys, demobilization will not be used until the WAR end, but there will, uh, there will be military uh, leave for soldiers. And give me a second here guys, this is a video, I don't want to show the video. <whistles> give me a second here. Very, very, very long article here but it's very important to know this this is uh this this is basically the beginning of draft mr z the leader of the yellow and blue said in his christmas eve address on december 24th that millions uh oh let me put myself in this one here millions of the yellow and blue had learned another dimension of christian uh christmas as they once again celebrate this holiday in the time of a full-scale WAR against UKR. This Christmas has a different mood, different context, different taste, he said in the video address posted across the platforms. Today, all the yellow and blue are together. We all celebrate Christmas together on the same date as one big family, as one nation, as one united land. Mr. Z said, standing in front of the yellow and blue country capital, I'm going to skip that name, an ancient uh, monastery at the heart of UKR capital. Earlier today, I actually apologize, earlier this year, the yellow and blue Orthodox Church officially switched to the revised Julian calendar. What? Hold on. Earlier this year, UKR Orthodox Church officially switched to the revised Julian calendar. So they're not going by the Gregorian calendar, uh, which celebrate Christmas on December 25th. 
hold on. They celebrate Christmas on a different date, right? I don't know, guys. Uh, uh, you know, it's flashback. I remember talking about this last year. Um, so December 25th, along with the most Orthodox and Roman Catholic churches, the move aimed to better align with the silver Gregorian, there we go, Greg, uh, Gregor, uh, Gregorian calendar, and to distance itself from the bare Orthodox Church, which still celebrate Christmas on January 7th. Okay, so we did talk about this. They no longer celebrating January 7th. They doing it the Sleeping Giant way. The Sleeping Giant celebrate Christmas on the 25th. Other countries celebrate it on the 7th, all right? So you guys already know that's basically the three kings. The three kings are the uh, are the ones that uh, bring the the well. It's the North Star, and they they find Jesus um, again, baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph. So that's what they do. They celebrate uh, again when it comes to January seven. They have their parade and the three kings. Well, in UKR, they're not doing that no more. They're going by, you know, the Western, December 25th, Santa Claus. Our gift, values, and tradition have changed. Today, it is not so much about how we decorate our homes, but rather how we protect them and clean up the mess, sweeping the enemy out. We rejoice at the scene that the first star in the evening sky and not seeing enemy miss, you know what, and drones. Ah, Mr. Z, you talk like you are righteous. Well, didn't Jesus said pray for your enemies? Maybe Mr. Z need to talk to Mr. The leader of the bear and come along and come to some kind of, uh, you know, solution. How to end all this. So he also said that the wishes of the UKR young ones have changed from I wish for my dad to come home early from work to I wish for my dad to come home from WAR. Well, all that can end, but Mr. Z prefer to keep fighting the bear. For all the fathers, husbands, brothers, grandfathers to come back, mothers, wives, sisters to return victorious, he said, all of those who are marking the Christmas Eve in the trenches with powerful stuff in their hands facing the enemy, all our warriors of light, guardian angels of UKR who prove to us every day the good will prevail, the light will prevail. Alright, so all this is Mr. Z. A new artillery correlation to strengthen the UKR army will begin its op in Paris in January 2024. That's basically a week away. All right, so he said it's crucial for UKR to enhance its firepower by receiving some very powerful system from its allies, according to the Defense Ministry statement. Now, in particular, the armed forces of UKR are interested in further procurement of self-propelled um, units such as uh, Caesar reads the statement. The Defense uh, Ministry also reported that in 2024, tests are scheduled for the fire control system of the Caesar self-propelled artillery units using AI. <whistles> wow. Harry Lurick said that the AI implementation will result in a 30% reduction in the use of very powerful, very powerful stuff for the zeroing and targeting. According to the statement, this person also asked the French delegation to assist in the increasing number of very powerful stuff for the Caesars. Now, earlier on December 18, you have this person here said that UKR forces face shortages of very powerful stuff 
and have to scale down some millet op due to the decrease in uh, military, you know what? So there's a problem with uh, certain things, especially post shells. That's a uh, 122 mm. We're gonna skip all this stuff here, guys. So basically, it's it's really tough for them. But Mr. Mr. Z, the leader of the Yellow and Blue, is giving a speech, a final speech of 2023, telling many that this is going to be tough for everyone, but we will succeed and we will be victorious. As we are going, um, basically almost uh, near 2024, he's uh, trying to boost up some hope to many out there. The bare advantages in uh, shells has long been one of the critical obstacles pointed out by the yellow and blue commanders. The volumes that we have today are not sufficient for us today, given our uh, our needs. So we are uh, we disturbing it. And this person said, explaining that the military is uh, scaling down its task as a result. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm going to leave the rest in my Twitter page. But, uh, yeah, you get the picture here. A lot of uh, story concerning WAR and in these uh, times of Christmas and what to expect in uh, 2024. 500,000, that is the deal. And they're going to have a bill and it's going to be introduced to the parliament, a uh, very important cabinet that is going to be signing it. 500,000. I mean, where are you going to get 500,000? And they are working on a draft law. Giving uh, all the uh, mother, wives, sisters the news about the cousin, brothers, fathers, and grandfathers. I'm going to leave the rest in, the, in my Twitter page if you guys want to check it out. Um, again, this is where we are right now. Very long article, but uh, it's very good stuff here. The Sleeping Giant funds to replenish arms and equipment sent to the Yellow and Blue will run out on December 30th. Alright, so this is where we are right now, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you can, please share this video. Uh, I will keep it updated on these stories. <coughs> Patreon, I want to apologize to all my Patreons out there. I know I haven't been doing the Patreon for like three weeks. I'm still working on uh, unpacking. We did a lot, and I have to drive back 40, I think like 30 or 40 miles to my old place. I got to talk to the landlord, my former landlord. And um, I had to change the insurance company. There's a lot of stuff I have to do. So just bear with me. I will I will make it up to all my Patreons out there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Lord Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.